PC, Dexter 1000, with the uh, usual uh, installment of Revolutions number whatever, whatever. Um, it'll appear on screen somewhere. Uh, 20 records played recently, played well, mostly in the past week. Um, let's get started because you're not here for the blah blah blah, you're here for the records. Um, okay, uh, Tangerine. Uh, Tangerine is a French group, and uh, the album is called De l'autre côté de la forêt. It's a French group, they are from my region of origin. Uh, and this whole album was recorded where exactly where I come from, pretty much, which is cool because uh, you know, actually, this, this kind of regional bands are not very they they they're far and few between. Um, and this is on uh, a label called uh, Arcane Crypto, which is also from the label from from where I come from. Uh this is uh, kind of a, a French um, Fairport convention meets Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young kind of feel, if you will. Uh, it's folk rock, uh, you know, of folk rock and country rock, you know, uh, which were kind of, you know, kind of parallel things, you know, Californian folk rock and, and British folk rock. Um, uh, sort of a parallel universe, but on this record they, they merge pretty well and it's funny because I was listening to this and the title track De l'autre côté de la forêt is basically a French version of uh, a French version of Sandman which is on the debut America record no, you must be thinking what is it showing us the debut America record this is a great record Actually, not the best record. The second record is much better. Well, not much better, but it's better. Uh, this is a, a really, really nice, you know, soft rock. You know, I think there's a bit of, um, uh, it's it's a bit of a maligned term, soft rock. You know, it implies that it's, you know. Uh, but I, I really like country rock, soft rock, folk rock. And I'm you know, planning a couple of gimme tents uh, revolving around this kind of music because I'm in love with these sounds. I just um, so this is this group is from England actually, despite being called America. And everybody knows, um, you know, I've been to the desert on a horse with no name. But I think don't let that cloud you because uh, the music is beautiful. If you like Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, well, you know, you like America. Um, similarly. Is a group that I'm really uh, getting to love at the moment, uh, Little Feet, uh, and this is Selling Shoes. The Feet, the group fronted by uh, Lowell George, kind of a, a, a funky roots rock, swampy rock kind of bands. Just it's just just all class. This band is just brings it out like with the artwork by Neon Park, beautiful. Beautiful piece of artwork. Highly recommend. The first three or four records are killer. This, uh, the debut called Little Feet. Um, uh, Feet Don't Fail Me Now, which is the fourth record. Great record. Um, then we have uh, another kind of, I mean, you know, an American hard rock classic. Uh, this is the Bob Seger System. Uh, with Rambling Gambling Man, uh, which was issued in 1972, I think, uh, if my memory serves me right, on Capitol Records. Is it? Yeah, Capitol. Uh, if you like, you know, sort of like heavy, heavy rock, um, this is probably the only Bob Seger album I would consider getting. I mean, uh, if if only for the classic sleeve that you could get there, it's just it's just a, it just makes you want to have it, doesn't it? But um, it's great, lots of organ, uh, heavy guitars, um, you know, uh, in the vein of those kinds of you know, um, well not as heavy as Sabbath, obviously, but you know, sort of heavy psych. Uh, 
what can I think of, you know, Sir Lord Baltimore or things like that. Um, those kinds of heavy bands. Uh, Pato. Um, different style, but killer. Uh, Herbie, Herbie Hancock with Flood. This is the Live in Japan. This is a fantastic record. It's a double live album. Uh, recorded in 1975 in um, Shibuya, uh, Tokyo. And, uh, you know, it's the Mondishi band, uh, Herbie Hancock, Bernie Mopin, Paul Jackson, Mike Clark, Bill Summers, and Blackbird McKnight is the band. Uh, and you've got all the classics, Butterfly, Chameleon, Watermelon Man, uh, Maiden Voyage, I mean, you know, it's a song list. Now, this is a uh, Japanese-only release, and it could be hard to get, and it's kind of pricey, but, I mean, it's really worth having if you like Herbie Hancock and that sort of golden period. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Beautiful love album. Uh, something completely different. Here is a, uh, a record that I bought quite a few years ago in the thrift store for like a dollar. Uh, Marie Laforêt. Uh, Marie Laforêt, she was a... Um, uh, French pop singer from the 60s, 60s, 70s, uh, and she had lots of lots of hits. The great thing about Marie Laforêt is is um, I mean she was beautiful. So I mean how can you not you know look at look at that and uh, but um, the songs are really kind of like really easy to listen to, but arranged beautifully. I mean you've got people like Andre Pop, uh, who is like the the the, the Lalo Schifrin in France. Uh, you know, you've got um, you know, you've got a whole lot of really good arrangers. Fr uh, Francis Lay. Uh, you've got um, covers by uh, of Stone Song of uh, of folk classics. It's you know, it's a great. And if you can find this easily, if you like François Hardy, you know that's the next step. Marie La Forêt. It's cool. Uh, I like it. I dig it. I'm French though, so it might help. Um, here is a killer library record from Italy, the feedback uh, by the group, which is basically Enumericon and um, whoever is on this Enumericon and uh, uh, Egistomaki and uh, lots of very cool dudes. Uh, the feedback basically is, you know, some crowd rock drumming over some really fuzzy electronics. It's it's special. Uh, it's a great record. And this is the reissue on uh, Schema uh, from a few years back. I mean, you know, you would never get an original of this. I mean, you could, but you get some mula there. Um, a classic that I play on occasions and I love playing. I mean, I, I've, I don't, I'm not going to talk how much uh, I love this band. I love, love, love you two. And I played this week the whole of Rattle and Ham, which is the 1988 album, which is part studio, part live. Uh, at the time, very much maligned, very much um, panned by the critics. And But I think now, I don't know. I mean, when I got this album uh, in about 1992 or something, this came in 1988, I only got it in about 92. Um, I played it to absolute death, and you know, uh, you know, you know what it's like when you're young and you play an album a lot and you just become familiar with it. Well, what people say about it doesn't really matter because you've just absorbed it so much. It's part of your subconscious. You know, you hear the songs, and this is like a like a portable time machine in a way. And play the record. I hear Heartland, or I hear um. Um, Hulk Moon uh, 269 or I hear um, you know Bullet the Blue Sky and I can see myself uh, at you know age 16 years old you know which is remarkable the rest of the records um, are records that I played last night or yesterday with my buddy uh, Gareth Fitzgerald uh, who I know who will watch this video uh, Gareth was here for a session for, for the day um, my house and uh, the session went from midday to 11 o'clock at night as, as, as you can imagine 11 hours of records 
So here are some records that I played with him. I can't show you everything. And he brought some records as well, yeah. But um, we played the uh, entirety of Histoire de Miller Nelson because I wanted him to hear it you know, in full. It's only 28 minutes. It's the best record ever made, according to me anyway. Uh, this is the Light in the Attic Press, which sounds really, really good. I mean, if you want to get a good press of this, I very, very, very highly recommend this press. They've done it right. It's got the lyrics translated in it. It's really the whole package. They've done a great job. So uh, this is... Um, I've, I've spoken about this many times. It's it's my favorite album. Uh, we played a side of uh, Jack Johnson. Uh, tribute to Jack Johnson by Miles Davis. Obviously, uh, one of the key records from the uh, electric period. Uh, released in 1970. I'd say 75 on top of my head, but I don't know. Could be, I could be wrong. I think it's about 1975. Uh, so it's after Bitches Brew. Um, you know, it's a great, great record. I mean, this really showcases the talent of John McLaughlin on guitar. Very abrasive. And uh, Gareth was remarking that it's a very bluesy sound. And it's probably right, it's very, very bluesy. But... But when the trumpet comes, it's sort of like, it just bursts out of the speakers. It's beautiful. Uh, it's a great record. Uh, we played a whole side of The Monks, uh, Black Monk Time, the only album by The Monks. This is, I mean, if you don't know this record, if you're watching this channel, you've never heard of The Monks. The Monks uh, were five GIs stationed in Germany during um, the 1960s. Uh, on a on a on a base in Germany, and uh, they made a really unique sounding album. I mean, it sounds like nothing else. It's garage rock, very psychedelic. The organ is wild. Uh, the singing is absolutely off the charts. Uh, you've never heard a voice like that. Uh, plays electric banjo. Uh, uh, the drums is just like you know, oscillates between very military beats to really wild, frantic kind of off the wall kind of beats. This record is a masterpiece. Um, and so we played half half of this. Uh, yeah, if you've never heard the Monks. Uh, we played a couple of songs from Bosco's only record. Bosco were a spiritual soul funk soul jazz band from Detroit. And um, they've released this album in 1973. Uh, it's really, um, you know, black liberation sounds, you know, it's spiritual. It's, instead of being spiritual jazz, it's spiritual soul or spiritual f soul funk, you know, you'd say. Uh, it's not so much, there's not so much jazz in there, but but it's a absolutely phenomenal record. This is a reissue from Numero Group, which I obtained probably about 10 years ago now, but you, I think you can still get this, um, imagine. Um, we played the New York, uh, the East New York Ensemble of Music at the helm, uh, Bilal Abdulrahman and Amin Nuraldin. Uh, what to say, this is a, a, just a sensational spiritual jazz from New York from the 60s. Yeah, it's uh, it's got these eastern flavors, you know, with lots of vibraphone, uh, beautiful, you know. It's just it's so calm and peaceful and uh, and raging at the same time in its own way. Um, played some African music because uh, Gareth is really into African music. Uh, I guess Malam les filles de Ilagadad. Uh, this was a Bandcamp discovery from last year. Uh, this is, I think, a Malian record. Uh, girls, vocal, um, Malian singing. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe this. Go on Bandcamp. And it, this is on Sahel Sounds. This is a masterpiece, in my opinion. It's a very, very good record. And you can still get this easily. Um... We played a little bit of Aptad El Dahoud, Alice Coltrane. Uh, 
This is uh, an original pressing, I think, um, featuring uh, Joe Anderson, Joe Henderson, and Ferris Sanders, which blow on. Uh, they're it's really good. It's very well done. It, it, you know, I think Ferris Sanders is on the left speaker and Joe Henderson the right speaker. I, I think you can hear it very, very clearly. It's got Ben Riley on drums and it's got uh, Ron Carter on uh, bass and you know Ferris Sanders and obviously Joe Henderson. Probably, probably Alice Coltrane's best record. Probably, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, but I, I think it it would be. Um, we played a whole side of this and I think Gareth was truly blown away by the Colin concert. Uh, what a, what a fantastic record. Uh, the best record on the ECM label, in my opinion. Um, just, you could see that the, the level of improvisation that he, he was on at the time, it's just, you know, unmatched, unmatched. Uh, we played a few songs of the Ghetto Brothers, which was a VC favorite a few years back, probably two, three years ago, maybe even four years ago. People uh, bought this record, a lot of people bought this record, the VC, uh, whenever it came out. Um, this is a kind of like a, a, I was just saying to Gareth yesterday, like a Latin Beatles record. It really sounds like the Beatles. Now these guys were real ghetto gang people. Uh, you know, one of them actually got murdered. They came from the Bronx. They were uh, Puerto Rican, and they were gang members. They were proper gang members. But the music they play is so friendly and so lovely, and so you know, it's about girls and uh, about um, you know falling in love and. It's very Beatles esque. Very, if you like the Beatles, uh, this is it's got a real Latin flavor, but it sounds a lot like you know a Beatles album. I mean, um, I'm talking about early Beatles. Think "She Loves You" and you know those kinds of you know that kind of early period of the Beatles. Uh, we played the whole side of ESGs. Uh, so we played uh, "You're No uh, You No Good," "Moody," and "UFO" back to back. Uh, which is essential. I mean, really, if you don't have any ESG in your life, you need to. Uh, these five sisters, also from the Bronx, interesting enough. Uh, Post-punk, dance, funk, soul, whatever. I saw them uh, live in Melbourne in December. That was one of the last concerts uh, Sarah and I attended together, and they were amazing. They were just properly amazing. It sounded like ESG. Uh, and we played Coltrane on Impulse, the self-titled Coltrane. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful record. Probably one of his best. Uh, if you don't know where to start with Coltrane, this is a good, good, very good starting point. Very easy to reach. And I <clears throat> played a couple of tracks of this wonderful um, French West Indies uh, record, Henri Guédon, Cosmosuc Percussion. Uh, a classic, classic, uh, sort of like yeah, West Indian, French West it, It's from Martinique, an island of Martinique. Uh, and it plays a fusion of music from uh, uh, from Cuba, Haiti, uh, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Trinidad, and Martinique. So it's a fusion of all, all these kind of islands, music. This is from 1974. Henri Guédon, Cosmos et Percussion. That's all I have for you, VC. Less than 20 minutes, 20 records, 20 minutes, 90 minutes. That's good. Until next time. Thank you.